everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Touch of Irish Cup Cozy, which you can see here in front of you. This is an easy cup cozy to work that I've uh, designed around St. Patrick's Day. So here I've worked it in two solid colors. I've added just this little shamrock uh, charm to it to make it a little bit more festive. It's quite easy to work. You're going to need about 40 yards of a worsted weight cotton yarn. For mine, I use the Capri Eco Cotton by Loops and Threads. And uh, this is a worsted weight cotton. And I've used the colors white and sage, which is my green color. Today, I'm going to be working in the sage color. I've also added this little charm. You can add a button or it looks quite nice, uh, plain as well. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll put the direct link for you there in the video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated every single week with uh, new free crochet patterns and crochet stitch tutorials. So to be sure to check back regularly. Now to start off our design today, it is going to be worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be 15 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row one, chain one and turn your work. Now for row two and every row uh, here on end, you're going to work slip stitches working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. So looking at the top of your stitch, you see this V, this horizontal bar that's closest to you, I'll see if I can pick it up here, that is your front loop. So we want to work on the bar that is furthest away from you, which is your back loop. So insert your hook in that back loop only and slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across in the back loop only, chain one and turn your work. You're then going to repeat that row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately six and a half inches. You're then going to meet me back here. Do not fasten off but meet me back here. So work slip stitches in the back loop only until you have six and a half inches from the beginning and then meet me back here. Once you have worked your six and a half inches you're going to have a piece like this and that's six and a half inches uh, when your fabric is relaxed so just laying on table. You want it six and a half inches from short end to short end. You're then going to take your fabric and fold it over so that the two short ends meet. If you're working in a solid color, you don't really have a front or back, so you just want them to meet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work so that you're working along these two short ends and working through both thicknesses. You're going to slip stitch in the back loop only of the first side, reach across, pick up the back loop only of the second side and slip stitch. You're going to do this all the way across and it's going to join your two short ends together. So slip stitch in the back loop only of each side through both thicknesses at the same time and uh, all the way across. Once you have slip stitched all the way across, 
you're going to turn your cup cozy so that it is right side out. We're now going to work the bottom of our cup cozy, which is slightly uh, tighter than the top of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, continue working in the same color. You can switch it up if you'd like. I'm going to continue working in the same color. And what you're going to do is you're going to work 26 double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. So just work your double crochet stitches uh, placing them wherever your hook feels comfortable, but you do want about 26 stitches all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. At the end of round one of your cup cozy bottom, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have 26 double crochets. For round two, you're going to chain one and you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch. To work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the first stitch, and I'm working around that chain one as well as the post. Insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's your front post double crochet. You're going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook from the back through to the front, out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You're going to repeat that working a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that alternating front and back post double crochet stitches all the way around until you come to your first stitch and then join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of the round two, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Now for round three, we're going to begin by working a front post single crochet around the post of the first stitch, followed by a back post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way around, front post, single crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post, single crochet around the post of the next. Repeat this all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and you can then fasten off and weave in your ends. Once you have finished round three, joined with a slip stitch, you can then weave in your ends and you're going to turn your cup cozy over so that we're going to work the top of our cup cozy. You can begin by taking your yarn round one and join with a slip stitch into the top and then chain one. Next, for round one, you're going to start by working 28 double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. So I'm just inserting my hook where it feels comfortable and uh, you want to have 28, so just a couple more than you did down at the bottom just so that it's a little bit wider to fit the top of your cup better. So work 28 double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. At the end of round one of your cup cozy top, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You'll have 28 stitches around the top. You're going to chain one, just as you did down below for the bottom. You're going to start round two 
by working a front post double crochet around the post of that first stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Repeat that alternating between front and back post double crochet stitches all the way around when you come back to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one then once again as you did down below on your cup cozy bottom you're going to work a front post single crochet around the post of the first stitch followed by a back post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around until you come back to your first stitch. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch fasten off Weave in your ends and your touch of Irish cup cozy is then complete. You can add a charm if you'd like or a button as I have. But that's it for working this easy cup cozy. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to make the touch of Irish cup cozy on um, and post a photo. Uh, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media and I will come by and adv admire it. Until uh, next time, happy crocheting. Bye.